just a couple more sites and I'll be on my way home. I love you. Peter, oh, thank God I caught you. Moon has gone missing in Damascus. When was the last time you spoke to her? Six days now. Six days. Well, thanks so much for doing this, John. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. So, so what drew you to this part? How, what did you identify with with Paul? Well, uh, I mean, the first thing that drew me in is that he, that the character is kind of a, a slippery and duplicitous man, and that's always fun to have, you know, to start. You always want to have an arc and to start in one place and then have the character to be something quite other than what uh, you thought he was is uh, is enjoyable. And, it, you know, particularly if you're not the leading character, those are always there, are the sort of the juicier reveals because you don't have to be sympathetic with Paul through the entire mm -hmm. film. <laughs> I don't want to give away too much, but I have a feeling most people that see this will have probably seen the movie by the time this gets up there. So, okay. do you like playing the, the sort of vil I haven't seen you in many villainous roles, so it must have been fun. It was, yeah, it's fun. I, I, I mean, I've played several sort of less than upstanding characters, and I don't know, ultimately, I, I, I don't think of Paul particularly as a villain. I mean, villain is a, is a, that's a conscious bad actor in my head, right? Someone who is the antagonist of the film, the one who is choosing to go against whoever our, our hero is. Whereas I think Paul is just a, he just has a, a weak character and he has like so many people who are born and raised in privilege he has the the feeling that he kind of deserves whatever he wants and then all of a sudden gets confronted with the fact that there are consequences to some of those choices and, and actions and is totally overwhelmed doesn't know how to deal with the reality of that and I like that I think that's an interesting place I mean we've all met those guys who who just are to the manner born and feel like the world actually owes them everything. And maybe it's just my own personal biases, but it's nice to see that guy get it <laughs> thrown in his face a little bit. <laughs> How did you and Ruba get together to craft Paul? What did well, she, she bring? Well, she, I, I don't take any credit there. I mean, the, the crafting portion was her, her I, I wasn't present, but whatever her process of writing is, these characters are pretty fully formed by the time the actors get brought in, which is not to say that we don't bring anything to them, but uh, that's another thing that was attractive about the, the, the story, the script, right off the top, is that they're very much on the page. I mean, there's a, there's, there are really strong guidelines. And then what I didn't know, I mean, she's incredibly passionate and enthusiastic and very smart, so that was the thing that made me interested. But once I got there, what I didn't know about her as a filmmaker is that she... I guess because it, it takes her so long and she's so, I mean, as a writer, intimately involved in each beat of these characters' stories that she has the confidence to take in new ideas. It doesn't derail her at all. She, she knows the story that she wants to tell. She feels like, I, I'm sure at this point, that she's lived all of these characters' lives for years and years and years. So you can bring something to it and she's happily willing to experiment. And I did, because most of, most of my work was with Sid, not so much with Marissa. Uh, scenes on their feet and then they would be like well you know here's an interesting thing that might let's try down let's go down this road for a little while and Ruba was quite happy to indulge in that and if it was something fruitful pieces of it would stay and if not then we would you know we would travel back to the main road which she had already hewed for us which which is as an actor that's kind of the ideal situation before I let you go, we got to do something called five questions. Five okay. good questions, one word answers. Okay. Oh, no. one word. One word. You've been talking to me. I don't do one uh, No, word I know. This will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think you'll be able to give me one word. Canucks okay. or ducks? Canucks. Lennon or McCartney? Uh, Lennon. TV or film? Film. Role you're most proud of? That I couldn't tell you. Okay. In one word, inescapable. Inescapable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate no it. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. I'm not the same man you chased away all those years ago. Find my daughter.